I left Zimbabwe because I was very different, you know, from every other girl that was around me. I, I kind of knew that there was something quite not right about me. I live on the Isle of Wight. Um, it's very, it's really, really beautiful. Um, you know, these the, the bushes. You know, it's very green. You know, we, well, me and my partner, we, we usually take a lot of walks in the wilderness. I had my first same-sex experience when I was about 10, 11, and I, unfortunately I was caught by a family member. So I was really punished badly. So I, I was aware then that how I was and how I behaved was not considered to be right. The more I rebelled, the more I kind of got either beaten up or punished, grounded. So I needed to leave and I needed to be somewhere. So I came to England and I got um, in a university. I arrived in the UK in May in 2001. I had to seek asylum because I couldn't go back anyhow because I was already very much out in the UK. I was already involved in human rights. You know, I was already writing in, 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 in magazines and some newspapers. And so a lot of people already knew that I was, you know, that I was very much out and very much lesbian. Even at home, my own family were also having problems and some police kind of, you know, being sent to my house and saying, why is she writing about this? Why is she writing about the president in this way? Or, you know, why is she behaving this way? So I knew that I couldn't go back at all. You know, I knew that, you know, the, with the way that Zimbabwe is currently and the laws and, and the attitude of people, I knew that it wasn't going to be a place for me. So I needed to seek asylum. It was a very hard, demeaning process. But then from the moment that I decided that I was going to seek asylum and I walked into the home office, they made me feel like I was a criminal. I was detained for about um, 24 hours, uh, which has been probably so far been the worst 24 hours of my life. You know, taken away in the middle of the night, bundled up in a police car, and kind of driven for like three hours in the middle of nowhere at night. You know, I've always thought that I can do anything and be anyone. But at that moment, I felt really, really scared and really, really unsure and, and very uncertain about my tomorrow. And I didn't know what was going to happen to me, whether I was going to get beaten up, whether I was going to get raped, and what was really going to happen to me, or whether I was just going to be, you know, um, left out in a cell. I remember in the car, especially when we were driving to the detention, I was with a girl who was um, from the East and she couldn't speak any word of English. She was crying and, and just, you know, it was so painful. And I was trying to explain to her that it's fine, you know, you're going to be okay, I'm here. But she didn't even understand me because she didn't even know me. And these people were just bundling this young woman and kind of you know, just treating her like she's a dog. So when I left that centre, when I came out, I was stammering. I was having nightmares, and I couldn't sleep, and, and I was angry. And I, so, 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 and so that means you know, that it's the effect of what happened within just 24 hours. So you can imagine, to someone maybe who's been there for a year or two years, you know, you know, the impact of the effort of, of being in, you know, in such a place. Asylum seeking was always termed as a negative thing. You're asylum seeker, you're lazy, you're asylum seeker, you're educated, you're asylum seeker, you come from this, you're asylum seeker, you're criminal, you're asylum seeker, you cannot be doing, doing drugs, you know. It was always kind of termed with the negative things. So, so I think that's probably why it took me so many years to even seek asylum and say, hi, hey, you know, I really do need help and I need your, your protection because I'm lesbian. In a way. But now, you know, I don't see asylum seeking as negative at all. People who've seeked asylum, they're very strong, they've been through a lot. 